Hello students, in this lecture we will talk about crystals and the fundamental terms related to their study such as crystal structure, lattice, unit cell, matrix of unit cell and basis. The term crystal derived from the Greek word crystallum meaning ice. Obviously, ice in the form of snowflakes or glacier are crystals. But, of course, there are other crystalline materials that are not ice. For instance, rock crystal, a variety of quartz, are very common. Rock crystals, the second most common mineral of the earth crust, were the first mineral to be called crystals because they were thought to be formed in extreme cold. But actually, they are formed in great heat and under pressure. There are many many varieties of quartz that can be found in nature. Many are colored through the infusion of certain metal ions. Crystals are bodies in solid state which are homogeneous and isotropic and their constituents are arranged periodically in three dimensional space. All crystals show an isotropy. This means that their physical properties are different for different wavelength directions. They are directional. And isotropic properties can be their mechanical property such as hardness, elasticity, expansion property. Or it may be optical property such as refractive index. It can also be electrical or thermal conductivity or some other physical or chemical property. For example, graphite is anisotropic in electrical conductivity. In graphite, the electrical conductivity along the horizontal running graphite sheet is several order higher compared to the conductivity perpendicular to them. The origin of anisotropy can be explained by simple arrangement of two kinds of spheres. The spheres are periodically arranged as you can see. Now we take two different directions and look at the sequence of sphere along the first direction. Along this direction, all spheres are of same kind. Now let us take another direction. In this direction, the situation is entirely different. Here, a red sphere is followed by a white sphere and the spacing between them is also different. If you try to push the sphere in these two directions, we have to exert different forces. Therefore, the mechanical strength of the material is different in different directions. Now we are familiar with solid state bodies named crystals. Crystals have crystal structure. We can think of crystal structure as consisting of lattice and motif. The concept of lattice is entirely a geometrical concept and it may be defined mathematically as follows. A lattice is an infinite set of points defined by integer sum of a set of linearly independent primitive lattice vector. For example, in one dimension, these points can be generated by translating a point by an integer multiple of repeat distance k. This repeat distance is the primitive lattice vector. Therefore, point n1 in one dimension is n1 times a. Similarly, point n1 and 2 can be obtained by latest primitive vector a1 and a2 as sum of n1 times a1 and n2 times a2. For instance, here point 1 and 2 is sum of a1 and 2 times a2. It is important to point out here that in two or three dimensions, the choice of primitive latest vector is not unique. In similar fashion, in three dimension, point n1, n2, and n3 can be written as n1 times a1 plus n2 times a2 plus n3 times a3. And another equivalent definition of lattice is a lattice is an infinite set of vectors where addition of any two vectors in the set gives a third vector in the same set. For example, if T1 and T2 are two vectors from a lattice, then if we add T1 and T2, we will get a third vector T, which also belongs to the same lattice. 
a third equivalent definition, in fact, very general definition is a lattice is a set of points where environment of any given point equivalent to the environment of any other given point. For example, here point A is equivalent to point B because A has similar surrounding as the point B. To have more clear idea about the lattice, let us locate the lattice point in the honeycomb. The honeycomb structure is not a lattice because all the intersection points are not equivalent. According to the definition of lattice, a lattice is a set of points where the environment of any given point is equivalent to the environment of any other given point. And the structure obtained by joining such points is lattice structure. Point P and R are inequivalent here. Thus, it is not a lattice at all since all points do not have the same environment. To obtain the lattice point, first we have to identify the equivalent point in honeycomb. The set of red points shown here have similar surrounding. Two adjoint points are up and one adjoint point is down to each red point. So all red points are equivalent. All blue points are equivalent. They can also be used to form lattice. Or we can also choose point at the center of each hexagonal to form the lattice as they are also equivalent point. It may be noted that all the three choices give the same lattice structure. One can be obtained by translating the other. Let us consider this complex pattern. What could be its lattice? Here, all points highlighted red are equivalent. Therefore, these represent lattice points. To describe more complicated arrangement of points, we have the idea of unit cell. We have long range order in the crystal. We are able to represent that by a very simple unit, which when repeated, reproduces the complete crystal structure. The unit cell is the unit which on repetition without overlaps or gaps in three dimensions generate the complete crystal structure. Thus, a valid unit cell is that which fills the space completely. A unit cell is the elementary building block of the periodic structure. A unit cell is defined by six latest parameters. The three latest parameters defining the unit cell are the length of sides of the unit cell and other three are angles between these sides. Further, a valid cell must have all the symmetry elements of crystal structure. Also, the chemical composition of the unit cell must be same as the chemical composition of considered compound. For instance, the unit cell of zinc plant must have zinc and sulfide in 1 is to 2 ratio. There can be several valid unit cells for a certain lattice. In order to make it easier to deal with it is often useful to describe a unit cell that is not primitive. The most commonly used unit cell is the smallest unit cell with the most regular geometry and that represents symmetry of structure. It may not be primitive one. A primitive cell may be simple primitive or bagnesiaized primitive and a non-primitive one can be body center, face center, or hand center. A primitive cell for a periodic crystal is a unit cell containing exactly one latest point. For instance, here this is a unit cell and this is a primitive unit cell containing one latest point at each of its points. The hexagonal shape shown here is also a unit cell, but it contains only one lattice point at its center. It is a Wagner-sized unit cell. We can obtain B 
the Wegman size primitive cell for a given latest point as follows. Join the given latest point to all points in space which are closer to that given latest point. Bisect all the lines by dropping perpendicular plane. The figure bounded by this plane constitutes the Wegner size primitive cell. Sometimes it is useful to define a unit cell which is not primitive in order to make it simpler to work with. A non primitive unit cell is a unit cell containing more than one latest point. For example, here this is a non primitive unit cell. It contains one latest point at each of its corner and one latest point at its center. A cubic unit cell is the unit cell in which metric lengths are equal. It can be primitive containing one latest point at each of its corner. It can be body centered containing an additional latest point at its center. It can be end centered containing an additional latest point at the end of a pair of opposite faces. It can also be face centered containing six additional points one at each of its face. So far, we discussed about lattice and the unit cell generating the lattice. A crystal structure is produced when we attach motif to each and every lattice point in the space. The description of object in the unit cell with respect to reference lattice point in the unit cell is known as basis. Object that constitute the motif can be an atom or group of atoms, a molecule or group of molecules, or the entire crystal can be reconstructed by associating a basis with each latest point. For example, consider the primitive unit cell of the latest. This unit cell contains five objects. Position of each object is described with respect to the latest point at the corner of unit cell. Let us take example of honeycomb structure. Here, latest points are chosen at the center of each hexagon. A is the primitive length. In Cartesian coordinate system, latest vectors are primitive vector A1 equals to A times x cap Primitive vector a2 is a by 2 times x cap plus a times root 3 divided by 2 y cap. Position of bases are given as position of first base a1 equals to 1 third of a1 plus a2. Position vector of second basis object is 2 third of sum of a1 and a2. I hope you enjoyed the lecture. That's all for today. See you next time.